In this video, we're just going to break down the RDL and we're just going to look at the hinge movement to start with, what we should be feeling, and then look at a few cues with the barbell as well. So the easiest way that I find to get people into the position initially is to imagine you're Indiana Jones. You've got two walls coming in to crush you. You're going to push the front wall away with your hands and the back wall away with your bum. So we're just trying to push the hands and the hips as far apart as possible. And then all I want you to try and do in that position is make sure you can feel your hamstrings come into a stretch and then come back up. So Ewan, have a little go. And a few things that can sometimes go wrong here. Sometimes people squat a little bit too much to so just push the knees back a little bit more there. So push the knees back. That's it. Feel the hamstring start to kick in. And then also sometimes the toes start to come off and the central mass will be towards the back of the foot, but ideally we want it kind of through the laces, like mid to back of the foot so that you're still gripping in with the feet. You still feel nice and stable on your feet. And then you can really focus on pulling back up with the hips and hamstrings to come back through. Cool. Nice. So with that one, I just make sure people can, you can really feel your hamstrings kick in in that position and you feel that stretch. And then obviously we can load that with a kettlebell, but we're just going to look straight at a barbell now. And just going to deadlift it up to the top. And I quite like just resetting at the top with these. In terms of our position, normally look for feet about hip width apart. Um, doesn't matter too much, but around about there is probably good. Normally look for a tiny little bit of retraction with the shoulders and then pulling the bar in so you create a nice lot of lat tension and then just stacking your rib cage over the top of the hips for your starting position. And then from there, all we're going to do is just try and push the hips back whilst keeping that central mass through the middle of the foot until we feel that nice stretch into the hamstrings and then pull it back up. So you can just go through a few reps there. So, so setting the feet. Lift into your top position, like I said, very slight protraction, so we're not talking much, just very slight there. In that position, if you pull down into the shoulders, so you depress the shoulders, you should really feel a lot of lat tension kick in. And then I just look for a little bit of tension here, so rib cage just stacked nicely over the top of the hips. And then from there, let's just shift your hips backwards. That's it, bum going back, bum going back, bum going back, good. Just hold there. Make sure you can feel that stretch in the hamstrings. Nice, and then make sure we're gripping in with the feet. And as you come up, try and think about the hips pulling back through and squeezing the glutes and then just resetting that position at the top. So at each rep at the top, we're not kind of arching through and coming into that like big extended position. Nice, mate. let's go for one or two more reps there. Easy. Nice. That's it.